what is going on guys? My name is Officer O'Leary and welcome back to Six Flags from Adventure, home of seagulls. Plenty of seagulls everywhere trying to nibble at your funnel cakes and french fries and uh, they'll pretty much just do just about anything. It's pretty crazy. I was throwing bread at the seagulls in the parking lot of Hurricane Harbor yesterday and they were going absolutely nuts. Anyway, uh, along with seagulls, it's also home to a skyway that's been completely unreliable lately. You guys can see one side's working just fine, but there's another side up there with people hanging out, just literally hanging out. It kind of sucks. I feel bad for those people. But if we look directly underneath the Skyway, we have a recently opened Ben and Jerry's location right here in the center of Liberty Square. This opens up so much more pathway that wasn't available before. Because as you guys remember, there was a big green fence all around this building for the longest time. And now we finally have an open Ben and Jerry's location inside the park. That means hard hand dipped soft serve, or well, not soft serve, those are two totally different things. We're just gonna take a quick look here, see if we can't see what the menu says. Looks like they got some draft beers on tap over here. And they got sports on one TV, uh, drink refills on the other, and it looks like some other stuff on the other one. I don't know. Do they serve ice cream in here? <laughs> I don't know, I don't see any menu for ice cream. That's weird. Inside here, you got Flying Fish Brewing Company. Very cool. So far, it looks like a really nice bar. But it doesn't look like it serves ice cream like it says on the map. If you guys check out the 2018 map of the park, um, supposedly this location is supposed to be home to a Ben and Jerry's. And that was what we were told. And nobody said anything different. So, question mark, what's, what's going on? They do have Frozen Jack and Coke, which is really cool. I wonder how much they charge for that. Not to ask. All right, I got a frozen Jack and Coke. It's really delicious, actually. Like the mixture is perfect, and uh, you can find it right here at this bar, which is supposed to be a Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, but it, says on, it says on the it says on the actual park map that it's a Ben and Jerry's location. Maybe they serve Ben and Jerry's. No, they don't. What? I asked the lady. I'm like, do you guys serve ice cream here? And she's like, no. What the hell? Yeah, she didn't even know about it. I, I was like, seriously, what? We need to go with. Also, they don't accept tips there. Like, wait, a what? It's a bar. Come on. Why, why can't they accept tips? So it makes zero sense. Oh whatever. The Macho Nacho Bar, the La Cantina, dude, they they accept tips. They have a little cup right there with money in it. Like, how come this place doesn't? But it makes six flags. Makes zero sense. Six flags. Six flags. Anyway, hey Jason, how you been, man? Eh. Blowing up my phone all the time. I was recording a time lapse yesterday after Hurricane yeah. Harbor on my way out. Like I was recording the main entrance, and you just like called and it interrupted the time lapse. Uh, and then you called and interrupted a couple other clips and oh, some other stuff. Oops. Is that my gift? Yeah. Ooh. You're so nice. Today's my birthday, by the way, guys. Yeah. You got me a gift for my birthday. I got you a gift for your last I, year's birthday. I have to put this down so I can open it. Oh, on top of the trash bin. On top of the trash like bin. Like me. It's alright. The trash bins are not really that bad. I mean, they're, they're not good at all, but yeah. Alright, let's open this. You want to record my reaction, GC? Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Alright, let's see. Ooh. I already like the cart. It's a lighthouse. I love lighthouses. How'd you know, Jason? I didn't know. You knew I loved lighthouses? No. Oh, okay. And inside? $10,000? No. It's a Wawa gift card. <laughs> How much? Ten. Ten? It says it right there. Oh, it does? All right. Look, right oh, here. Ten. <laughs> it says ten. It just says like... I thought ten, that was, I thought that was how much the $10 lighthouse was. Arrow. I thought that was, I thought Are that you... was how much it was to purchase oh. the lighthouse. Oh. <laughs> oh. That'd be cheap. All right. Well, thanks, Jason. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep this safe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, ten dollars. <laughs> no, like the, the actual the, card costs nine ninety nine. Really? Yeah. The ten dollar card? What? Yeah, so you, you got That's, it. It's actually like twenty dollars. So. Yeah. Wow, you're so nice. Thanks, you're Jason. Welcome. I'm gonna put this in my wallet for safekeeping. Standing underneath Skyway Tower number two, you guys can clearly hear the noise it makes when the cars go over it. It makes like a really like weird sound. Yeah. See, let's oh, see if it does side. it this side. No, I heard it a second ago, I yeah, thought. It's, it's that side. I don't know. This, uh, this Jack and Coke might be getting to my head already. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not vlogging today. Oh, I see Nestor. Oh, I see Nestor and Dan? What are they? No, that's not Dan. <laughs> I thought that was Dan from Ka. I'm like, what the hell is he doing over here? He's never here. Let's see what Nestor's up to. Somebody posted a comment in a video the other day. It was like, Nestor is really cute. 
Who, a girl? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Some person. You've been noticed. <laughs> what up, Nestor? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Dude, I got a frozen Jack and Coke from the new bar that opened up. Right next to the Flash Pass building over there. Oh yeah, dude. So what are they making over there? Um, like on that side. Like, wait, what? Like, what are they putting over there? Oh, like the bar. Like, it's just a bar. Just on the map, it says it's a Ben and Jerry's. I know. Like everybody was like, oh, we're getting Ben and Jerry's. We're getting Ben and Jerry's. And now it's now it's open, and it's like, no, we just serve alcohol. <laughs> That's literally what they said. I was like, what? <laughs> Jason was like, yeah, I want ice cream now. I, want I don't. Ice cream. This is I like miss because Jason misses Cold Stone, right? Yeah. Yeah. I miss Cold Stone. All right. Hot dog dog. So National Hot Dog Day here at Six Flags is celebrated by celebrating National Sour Candy Day. Uh, just today, July 18th. Uh, purchase Sour Punch at select in, in park retail locations I'm to receive your special event wristband to participate I'm gonna do that. in the ride. No, I'll leave it then after the park closes. There's, a, there's an ERT tonight. We're leaving at like 4. Yeah, but I could come back later after the, like after, after I eat dinner or whatever. I'm not gonna. Yeah, because I have to leave at 4 to go uh, eat dinner with my mom. What are you, Michael Jackson? Oh, no. You can't dance anywhere near as good as Michael. Looks like Cyborg's currently closed. It looks like it might be opening today, though. Since there's a, there's a sign that doesn't say it will not be opening today. I already wrote it. You already wrote it today? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it'll probably reopen again. It's not likely to be closed for the rest of today, at least. But you never know. There's a team That's of maintenance cool. workers. When it spins around. Like... Oh, yeah. Like... The, it just like sits still in the middle, but then like the whole thing spins around. Yeah, that's it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, so we're gonna get on Justice League, I guess. Yeah. I'll yeah. Throw stuff in the locker. All right, I guess. It's like awkwardly quiet in here right now because the audio is not working apparently. Yeah. Like they're getting like technicians down here to fix it, I guess. But yeah, for now there's literally like just quiet ambient sounds going on in the in here right now. That's so weird sounding. Look, the, he's talking, but he's not. I want the like I want the ride operator to get on the microphone and just start doing improv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we took the single rider line, so we're uh, about to get on. Jason's got like three pairs of glasses on. He's got Oh my god. Wait, you actually did it. Three pairs on yeah, right there. I put it on just, okay. just for it. That's crazy. Yeah, one on and two, two on the side. You crazy man. Alright, the last two screens were like totally oh. broken. Oh, it just made some noise. Oh, oh they reset it. Uh, Jason got 131 and I got 184. Oh, it's working again. Oh, uh, yeah, they just fixed it. Hey! Actually, it's not even, it's not ours. I don't know. Oh, it's not? No. No, 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 a guy or a woman, I don't know. All right. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right now, ladies. 13, actually. Oh, Jason likes his mug. Whoa. <laughs> Jason likes mugs even though he's like 18 at home? Yeah, Whoa. no, I don't know. It's a pretty cool mug. I'd rather get like the Cyborg t-shirt, maybe. I don't know. I don't know that I would ever wear it in the park or not. Yeah, I would. <laughs> no, I'd wear it probably at the park, but I probably wouldn't wear it anywhere else. Yeah, true. Cyborg like, open? I don't know. Cyborg is closed. It's closed. Still closed. Oh well, I don't know. I'm in kind of a weird mood. The alcohol got to my head. You gonna go to Metro Girl? No, they don't have good food. They have the chicken bacon ranch. I don't like that. You don't like chicken bacon ranch? I like bacon chicken ranch. Oh no. Yeah, Cyborg is still closed back there, so we're just gonna go to Nitro instead. I don't feel like I've been on Nitro very much this season. You haven't. I have, but in I haven't. Beginning. In the beginning of the season, I rode it a lot. Now you're just like, I'm too lazy. I'm gonna ride Justice League. I don't know. I just like, it's a great coaster and everything. I just don't feel like riding it every day. I ride it often enough as it is. So that, dude, I felt like that receipt fell. No, I don't, it might have been. Yeah, it might be. I've ridden. What is that? Are they trying to simulate like? Oh, it's it's a song. I thought they were trying to like simulate like just background ambient noise. I'm like, what? What? Dude. Uh, oh, that's weird. Jason just pointed out that the front row and the C train is blocked off on Nitro for some reason. That's weird. I don't know. It doesn't look like it has any line though. It's like a station wait, so yeah. we're just gonna get on up there. We're gonna go toward the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get better airtime in the back, I mean. So, uh, uh yeah, I'll shoot the beat. Oh, 
lazy and I don't feel like running. What? I'm lazy and I don't feel like running. I'm just going to throw right there. Alright, right, we just got off Nitro. We rode like third right to the back because it was like walk on. There was like no line for it when we walked in. We rode it twice. So Jason's gonna buy the honor ride photo right now, and then I think we're gonna head back over. Where are we gonna head to after this? Oh, we're gonna get food, right? Um, I'm getting that photo, and then I'm getting the other photo. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna eat, but we're gonna pick somewhere to eat. Right after Jason got his photo pass done, we were walking by, and Italian pasta is actually open. Like that's the brand new Italian restaurant that I guess was gonna open when the park opened, but like was totally ready and then just didn't open. And now it's open, so we're gonna head over there for lunch. Hey, boss, I have all go, buddy, go. I don't know, I guess they're not allowed to run, so they have to like do that really stupid fast paced walk. I swear to god, it looks like straight out of Roller Coaster Tycoon, doesn't it? Like this. Yeah, that's literally like what, that's they, what the guy was just doing. It's like a really fast paced walk. I don't know, it's like running, but they're not. Like, where are you going? You going to the bathroom? What? You going to the bathroom? No. Oh, I think you're like walking that direction. Cyborg is still down. They actually just put the sign up, like, as I'm saying that. All right, it's temporarily closed. Oh well, that's too bad. I really wanted to ride it today. But it's so hit or miss, like some days it's open, some days it just has technical difficulties. It's a prototype, so there's gonna be a lot of mechanical issues with it. You know, mechanical and like computer issues probably too. But right now we're gonna grab all our stuff out of the locker over here and we're gonna grab lunch. Lunchy to lunch. And hey Jason, wanna ride cyber? Oh wait, never mind. it's closed today again. Out of all the new rides this park's gotten over the last like 10 or 15 years, Cyborg has to be like the most unreliable. I know. It's it's down like every day. <laughs> if you're lucky, you might get a chance to ride it early in the morning when they have it fixed, but then like it just I've breaks it all the time. Times. Why do you why are you even keeping track of that? It's a good ride and everything, but I'm not keeping track of how many times I've so ridden. So I can ride the people who haven't ridden it. Okay. <laughs> also, Batman was like stopped on the lift before when we were on Nitro. Yeah. And then, like, it was still stopped when we got back into the station. Also, real quick, somebody left their margarita, like, on top of that vending machine over there. And I feel really bad for them, because they cost, like, 12 or $13. What are you about to say, man? Cyborg isn't a ride. It's an experience. Cedar Point isn't a place. Isn't an island. Isn't a peninsula. It's a life. It's a tra- No. Are you on drugs? No. <laughs> RMC. It's a religion. Alan Shoki is God. What are you talking about? What? Yeah. Praise RMC. Jason is on some weird no, stuff. No, right? What are you saying? Facebook group that's called the Church of RMC. The Church of it's RMC? Made. That's an actual Facebook yeah, group? Yeah, and, we, and, we, and, and every ride we go to that's made by RMC, we post a picture and say, worship is today between this time, and if people are what? at the same park, we all come and ride. What are you talking about? It's a fun little group. Uh, that's weird. All right, we're heading into Granny's right now. We're going to grab some food. I don't know. What are this you going to get here? You going to get chicken tenders? Uh, sure. No, what are no, you going to get? No, fried chicken. Oh yeah, he's getting the fried chicken. Hopefully there's not a long line. Sometimes this place is like a crazy long line. Granny's chicken. I think this is the original sign from when the park opened. It looks pretty original. Dude, whoa. Yeah, you're right. It's called gingerbread fancy. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, there's a huge line in there. You wanna go to Italian pasta? What do you want, dude? Anything? All right, me and Jason. Me and Jason are currently investigating a possible site for a 2019 attraction. I'm not really 100% sure. I got a comment on a video the other day. I'm gonna put the comment up right now. It uh, it basically it basically said that um, to look over near this area, the original location of the Pretty Monster, which was called uh, what Dream Street Dazzler originally, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it was basically like a monster spinning ride, and it was right over here in this location back in 1974. And then right and then here, when the pathway. park when the park moved its general entrance and moved all the way to the where it is today, they moved the pretty monster over to where the uh, where the teacups are today, and now the teacups are there. Um, but somebody posted a comment, and they told us to look in this general area for one barely visible remaining uh, piece of the pretty monster. But wait, do you think there's remaining pieces or footers back there? Right behind this red building is where Big Jury is. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any footers left. But yeah, Jason's right. Like The whole park originally was centered around this area over here, and then it went and extended all the way down to Frontier Adventures, where the mine train is. And it didn't really go any further than that, besides up to Granny's, which was yummy. Yum. Or no, what was it right. called? It was Gingerbread Fancy. And yeah, right Gingerbread behind Fancy. Granny's, it was all wooded area. Yeah, there was, there was nothing was behind two, there. There was two trailers where they stored ice cream. My dad worked and brought ice cream to places <laughs> in the park. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what he did. That, that's like back where, like, um, 
like Johnny Rockets is over there? Yeah, right there. Okay, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're standing over here looking for remnants from back when... Um, well, it did go past Granny, so a little bit on this little side. Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right where Skull Mountain was, right. that would be a train Moving station. on from that, we're not talking about that really. What we're trying to figure out is any remnants of Pretty Monster when it was in this location. So far, all we could find is like different differences in the concrete. Like over here, there's like a small block of concrete. And then over here, there's like this weird little block in the ground. I'm assuming this block in the ground might have been to provide power to whatever was here. It might have like opened up in there been like wires for like power. I don't know. I wish the train was still here though. Yeah, and there's, there's another concrete block right here. Another one right there. Some of these were probably trees because there used to be a lot more trees than there are yes, today. There were. Um, some of the trees were uprooting the pavement, so they had to cut them down, which makes sense. And some of the pavement was just cut out and replaced with bricks, like this tree over here. Um, but yeah, the whole ride area extended all the way out to where this Spiromania is, and it used to be a big circle right around this whole area. And obviously, it was, it was like right here. Like it was in the center of this area right here. Yeah. I don't know. There was a walkway that went right here, and it went over to the side, and then there was a big walkway. Jason knows a little bit about this. He made a recreation of Great Adventure in 1974. So he knows. I, I used. I used. He knows where all like the. He knows where all the stuff was. I was able to get Google Earth from the 80s and, and use that to pinpoint But I find it very interesting that there's a lot of leftover pieces from rides that aren't here anymore, and there's a lot around the whole park, like. Over this fence over here, you can see the remnants of the second Enterprise that we had. And that got removed sometime in the 2000s. I don't know. But we're heading over, we're gonna check out Yum Yum right now and see if there's any weight over there. Yeah, and right, get where, and right where the kitty area was, the train went around in a circle, it was a steam engine crown, and right in the middle was a shoot the shoot. Nobody can hear you right now. Really? Yeah, you're not talking loud enough. All right, we're eating Yum Yum. We're in Yum Yum right now. Uh, Jason got the chicken tender meal. They gave you like way many chicken tenders. Like, what the hell? Isn't it like supposed to be like four? There's like easily yeah, five but look or how six. Small they are. Yeah, like, I don't know. That's a good deal though. I got the two hot dog combo. I didn't even realize they sold hot dogs in here. Like, me and Nikia, we were hanging out the other day and we were like talking and we couldn't tell. Any, like, a guest was asking where they could get hot dogs and I'm like, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, Nikia didn't know either. I know. In here now? And then there's in, the, in Camp Aventura they sell it. Oh, really? In, in Camp Aventura, they have hot dogs? Yeah. That's really random. It's on dining plan. That's cool. I saw it on the dining plan, like, brochure. Yeah, I'm going to stop in Camp Aventura at some point during the season. All right, we just got out of Yum Yum. I got the two hot dog meal, and Jason had the chicken tenders. What did you think of the hot dog? It was pretty good, right? Yeah. It was good. It was, I think in Nathan's it was. That's a good shot in the yeah, a cow over there with that cloud behind it looks really beautiful. Anyway, we're over here by the teacups because this was another location of the Pretty Monster. Believe it or not, after 1975? Or, no, for the 1975 season, it was moved over to this location. 76. 76, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this was the second location of the Pretty Monster, and I think I can see one of the remaining things right now. Actually, no, no, never mind. I was going to say that block right there, but that's fine. Possibly the operator booth. I don't know. All clear. Like what? What could be left out, out here? Oh, that shed maybe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that could be. All right, riders, it's time to All right. That black could this shed possibly center. point to That's the new for 2019 new attraction? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. I don't know. But they have a lot of room back here. Like if they take out the teacups ride, they have this whole area behind the tent to use. If they ever want to expand, they could use this whole area for a ride or something. They could put a family coaster or something. A family coaster, a, re a regular only, size coaster. Or we can arm see, we can arm see um, mine train. Put in some T-Rex track. You're crazy. Uh, where the airtime hills are, we put a couple inversions, GOG <laughs> stall. That will never happen, Jason. If that actually did happen, I would be like so happy. But wait, what's this? There's something else back here. Oh, maybe that's it. I don't know what that is. It looks like a trap door. What the hell? Yeah, what does it lead to? Jason, run in there. I'll like, open it up and see what, see what it is. No. I don't know. But that, that could have possibly... But that could have possibly been here at the same time as Pretty Monster. Back in the 70s or 80s. Yeah, I have no clue. Right there. Uh, I want to jump over this. But look at this fence. Look at all like... Like a baby could jump over that. Seriously. Like Dude, what? Yeah, I want to jump over this fence. It's not like Winkler doesn't already hate me. Yeah, right? No, you're going to get banned. If you yeah. jump over the fence. He's like, yep, you finally get banned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> we just got through Bugs Bunny National Forest or whatever, and it looks like they have a brand new sign here for Frontier Adventures. It looks really good. It's like fresh and brand new. 
But yeah, we're uh, here by the Lug Flume. Are we gonna ride this? No. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I don't wanna get the seats in my truck, but. Wait, do you have 50, 51 cents? Do I have change? Those aren't even the good ones. Yeah, I don't have any change on me. Yeah, these are all for some uh, Safari one. He's right there, right where those, right where those double supports were. Yeah, that was really it looks like they're working on the track over here on uh, Mine Train. They have like scaffolding up all along the side of it. It's right where they have the double ties. I guess it's like one of the more intense sections of the ride. You can see the track's like a little uneven, and uh, I think they're trying to fix it. Looks like they're working pretty fast too, actually. Considering that Arrow is out of business, they're able to fabricate. SNS fabricates those tracks. SNS has all the blueprints for Aero Rides. Oh, that's pretty cool. They bought the, they bought it during an auction. Anyway, there's a family of geese. Torres got a little bit of a wait. I can't really say like how long, but it looks like maybe 20 minutes to a half hour. It's kind of hard to tell this far back. So yeah, we're definitely not riding it. Look at the amount of people that are over here right now. It's crazy. There's a ton of people here. I want to get a shot of El Toro's sign. Yeah, El Toro's sign over there. Over here they're advertising the multi-use lockers. It's $8 per day. It's actually not that bad of a deal. For $8 you can switch lockers to wherever you want. El Diablo is even showing like a short line. It's still like really short compared to like other rides though. Like Toro's line is pretty long. If you're coming to the park, like regardless of how busy it is, Imagine a lot of times El Toro and King Dakot have lines. Do I look like a king? First talk. No
that, no stacking. Right in. Good two train operation. Yeah, I know. Normally they're really bad. Yeah, sometimes they take forever dispatching trains. But holy golly gee willikers, is this one of the most intense roller coasters in the world or what? Pizza after this. What? I said my mom's taking me out for pizza after this. Isn't that exciting? Wait, do you go out for pizza a lot? No. Uh, Sometimes. I do. We have a pizza place right down the road. Yeah, we have a pizza place by my house too. But yeah, we're hanging out over here. We're by Toro getting shots of it. We got some pretty good shots over there, like right by like the main drop over there. I was surprised they didn't yell at us. I thought we were gonna get yelled at for having cell phones over there. We're gonna check on Mike at Green Lantern and see what he's up to. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better. So I got an ice cream cone and then Jason's over there getting a gelato. Uh, really funny story though. <laughs> I got my ice cream cone and as soon as I walked away from the funnel cake place over there, I dropped it and it spilled all over the floor. I don't know if you guys could see that mess from over there, but yeah, I just totally like dropped it and spilled everywhere and the guy felt bad. I think cause today's really hot, like the ice cream it like melted really quickly and just slid off. It's all good. Still very good. They gave me a lot of ice cream. Hey, all right, for like the first time this whole season, we're gonna go visit Mike at Green Lantern because like nobody wants to ride it, but Mike works over there, so we're gonna go say hi to him. Also, um, the superhero fish and chips place is open over here, so you can get fish and chips. You got Superman. Now, going through the pretzel loop over there. So we're walking up the exit right now. Green Lantern's actually closed, like the ride is closed right now. But we're like going up the exit anyway. The guy at the exit said it was okay. And I know the security guard worked in the area anyway, Nakia, shout out if you're watching. So I, I don't think we're gonna have any issues. Yeah, you can hear them up in the station. They're like yelling down at us. They're, they're, they're I think I see Mike already. Is he Mike! Up there? Yeah! Oh yeah, he sees us. Oh, here he comes. He like jumped up. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, friends. Mike is going on, Jason. Happy birthday, O'Leary. Thanks. What's going doing? on? Nothing much. We're just chilling. Hey, we asked the guy at the entrance. Did we're like, "Is just yell Mike and <gasps> yeah, no." We, we, they were the, telling. <laughs> there's the guy at the entrance. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, sorry, we're closed." I'm like, "Yeah, is Mike in the station?" And he's like, "Mike." Like, yeah, yeah, he's up there right now. And I'm like, "Is it alright if we walk up the exit just to say hi to him?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's cool." And so, so walking. we like walk up here, and then like you're. The girl up there, she's like, uh, it's it's closed. How did you get in the line? Yeah, what, what are you doing three, here? <laughs> because three people came up the exit today. The <laughs> really? other ride's closed. Oh, wow. Closed. That's why the garbage you can's the out there, right? Like, there's a garbage can blocking the Wait. exit now. <laughs> Turn that off for a second so Mike can tell us why it's closed. Oh, come on. Almost missed To matter, you ginger. Oh, Mike, is Ricky here today? I'm a ginger fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mike, is Ricky here today? Who's Ricky? Ricky, he's an uh, area supervisor for the boardwalk. Um, no, he, I, he's not here. Not here. 
Boom! Oh, yeah, Skyway. Skyway stopped again. Uh, yep. <laughs> this is the third time I've seen it stop and go. Like, but this is the oh, opposite wait, this one side. side is still going. Yeah, one of the sides is still going. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, it's been like that all day. Like, that one side has been. Wait, no, it's the other side. Yeah, this it's the time. other side. That's weird. Yeah, okay, so one of the sides was stopped earlier when I got here. Then it was fixed, and then it broke again while I've got. Okay, after I was. What? 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 I, I, wanna, I wanna do a fun thing. Why? I want to ride the screen machine. <laughs> Wait, can we just like lock Jason in here and leave yeah, him here? You can't lock it. It doesn't lock. No. Wait, can you stand up though? Like, don't sit down. Stand up. Stand up. You have to stand all the way up. Legs flat. You're make. I didn't have to do a single thing of work today. Now you're making me do work. <laughs> look what you've done. Are uh, you ready? This ready? Look. Oh yeah, I'm riding Green Lantern. Oh, all, all this ride sucks. <laughs> 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 he does it all with Dr. Schultz. Only Dr. Green Lantern's so tight. I hate these restraints. There's some. There's some GP behind us that are very disappointed. This place. Sport to move. Don't don't ride it. It sucks. <laughs> Yo, Mike. What's your trick? There's a lifeguard over here. <laughs> oh, Bizarro. That's cool shirt. Of course he didn't laugh. Because he likes Bizarro better. That's actually from New England. You don't know like which Bizarro that shirt's from. True. That could be the Bizarro from New England or the Bizarro from here. Or is Bizarro there, from here is better. Is there another Bizarro? True. You're a liar. No, it isn't. No. Su Superman in New England Superman is such a good ride. Suck. Well, actually, Bizarro, Bizarro, Bizarro Wait, in Mike, New England is better than what? what are your thoughts on Superman in New England? It's absolutely horrendous. It's my number it's four. It's one of the worst things I've ever ridden. Dude, it's my number Mike four. says it's the worst coaster he's been Dude, on. Dude, no. You think worst. that's bad? Ride Hellcat at Clementon Park. All right, Hellcat's probably no, worse. It's not the worst one I've ridden. That one goes to Green Lantern first flight at Magic Mountain. <laughs> Green Lantern? I have a friend that thinks it's in his top ten. Green, Green Lantern stand-up coaster at Great Adventure? No, the Zack Spin. <laughs> The oh, you cracks, rode that? Crack spin at, <laughs> at Magic, Magic Mountain. Mountain. Yeah, oh, yeah. I heard that thing was really bad. Because it doesn't you know, spin like it's supposed to, right? I like, rode a lot of coasters on my uh, the coaster on ordinance. It's like pushes that you guy's hundred coaster, King Ka. Did you get on Ka today? Oh yeah, yeah, man, hundredth yeah. coaster. It was. Oh, that's your hundredth credit. It it's was. Wow. A good hundredth. Yeah, yes. that is a pretty good one. What was your hundredth credit? It was Lightning Racer at Hershey. Uh, I thought it was Iron Rattler, but I don't have a hundred. I don't have a hundredth either. I don't have a hundred. What are you on your way to right now? I'm trying to get to the Sea Lion show, to be honest. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's a, that's a reasonable thing to do, I guess. After, after you ride Cot, it's definitely worth it. It's uh, down the boardwalk to off to the right. I'm sure you know where it is, right? I do not. Oh, this is only okay. my second day here. Oh, walk down the boardwalk and you'll see the Twister ride on the right. Okay. And it's the entrance to the Golden Kingdom right there on the right. And okay. you, go, you go through there, and then the entrance to the Sea Lion show is in there as well. The okay. Right. It's across from the Turtles. Awesome. You're stealing right. my Thank thunder, you. Sean. Quit stealing my thunder. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What group are you? Oh, my channel's Officer O'Leary. Nice. He's New Jersey Coaster. He's New Jersey Coaster. Yeah, I'm the Coaster Crusader. Crusader. Oh, you saw oh, him yesterday? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Every day. Every day I'm at the park. I was here <laughs> yesterday <laughs> trying to meet him. <laughs> Adrenaline Overdrive? Yeah, his friends were like, come on, let's go ride a Green Lantern. And I'm like, F it, I'm out here. Dude, I have to bleep all that now. You should have ridden. You nah. could have ridden my ride. Jason will turn down any opportunity to ride King Dakar or Green Lantern or anything that he hasn't already ridden. Just because he's a little, a little. No, beaten. no. I, I, I will ride a stand up. I would say that. I would gladly say it on the camera, but I would possibly get fired. <laughs> yeah, you should probably watch what you say. If you did what? Like anybody who watches these videos who works here, just watch what you're saying on the camera. You know. Yeah, I, I do my best to edit everything, but like sometimes things slip through, and yeah, you know, you don't, yeah. two vlogs you don't want to say anything bad on my channel. In it on accident. I yeah. will not hesitate to say Superman sucks though. There's that's some really funny way. videos from Jason. Like Jason sometimes forgets to like completely edit them and like there's just like really bad cuts and like just like I know right. <laughs> Dude, it's so the funny. The cinematic footage. Some good bloopers. <laughs> What's in the cinematics that I haven't seen yet? It, it, he tries to make these things like Coaster Studios and then really Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. just him zooming in on a plant. <laughs> Go Jason. Abuse. <laughs> He's gonna rip his, He's like, employee uniform. Employee. <laughs> I'm gonna bully you! Oh my god, what's going on? Security! Security! How did I do that? How did I do that? Because I'm very light. Oh, we got a dance party going on. Nope, uh, I'm going home. Come life. on, go to the dance party, Mike. Wait, wait, wait. Going Mike, home. Mike, 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 hold this. I'll hold, I'll hold it. Okay. Oh! Jason, what are you doing? 
Jason just like picked me up. What the hell? No, now you can't have your game phone. I don't know. Wait, you want to show Mike my card? What? Like you wanted to show Mike my card I got you. Oh yeah, Mike. You want to see the the card that Jason got me for my birthday? Yeah. Wait, where is it? I think it's in. I don't remember what pocket I put it in. Wait. Did I throw it out? No, really, where is it? I think I lost it. All I know is that it had a Wawa gift card in it. Yeah, but I have the gift card already. Back it up and do it again! Where? Yeah, I lost your, uh, I lost your card, dude. Oh, it's gone. Ten dollars! I have the gift card, I don't have the card card. And you have to repay me. I'm about to repay you for crap, I still have the gift card. Oh, Jason, Yeah, there's a really big bee over there. No, it was like, I think it was like a hornet. Yeah, that thing was giant. Oh yeah, you're gonna like cut through over here? Yep, I'm I forgot this. I'm fading away. <laughs> Mike, go to the oh, wait, Mike's gonna disappear into oblivion. <laughs> there is one this thing that- This ride is perfectly safe. There Everything is, one is thing I will developed say for a comfort. Hey, shut bum, up. We're not, bum, bum, we're not, bum, bum. Alton Towers. We're not at Alton wait. Towers. Wait, hold on, cut this for a second. I got so distracted there at the end, I forgot to record an outro. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but yeah, I'm like home right now. Like I'm in my driveway. My driveway is basically a credit in itself. It's pretty much a roller coaster. <laughs> There's a lot of bumps and potholes. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, or if you didn't enjoy it, you could also dislike it too, that's fine. Um, and that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, I already dropped Jason off back at his house. I had to drive him home. Um, he also gave me a $10 gift card for my birthday, so that was really nice. Thanks, Jason. It's like awesome of you. I really do appreciate it. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.